Championship, beating Lunenburg 3-2. Today's game, the opening round of the MIAA Division III Baseball Championship as the South Hadley Tigers come to Deerfield to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins. What? Oh, turn it up. Okay. Sorry about that. This is Chris Collins along with uh, my broadcast partner, as always, uh, Tom uh, Albers. So, Tom, uh, this is one of those games where it's an unusual situation because this is the third time these teams Frontier was the winner in the first two contests, but as was pointed out to me on the way over here by a member of the Frontier staff, it's tough to beat the same team three times in one season. This is one of those games where although it's a, it's a disparity in terms of the seedings, this could be one of those sleeper games and Frontier can ill afford to uh, take these guys lightly. Yeah. When it comes to tournament baseball, you really don't want to take any team lightly. It doesn't matter the seeding. You go into any game, you want to think that team is, they want to win, you know. And there have already been uh, several upsets in baseball action uh, in the other divisions, and uh, some involving local teams, some involving teams that were high seeds that got taken out in the first round. This is one of those situations where Frontier is going to have to really, I think, come in dialed in. It's, you know, this is the one and done season. You know, once you're uh, beaten, you're out. And Frontier, of course, is coming off a loss to Hopkins in the final game of the season loss that would have given them the lead championship. Uh, and Hopkins came back and, uh, and avenged the defeat here in South Deerfield and took the championship. But you got to wonder if any of that residue is still going to be here for this one. Yeah, you definitely have to wonder. And like uh, this Frontier team, hopefully they, they've looked good all season, you know, and their, uh, their go-to pitcher is Tyler Baranowski, who's on the mound today. Yes, Baranowski will start against Tyler Evans, who is a pitcher for the South Alley Tigers, a junior hurler, so junior versus junior, and an opportunity here for the Hawks. If they advance, they'll be probably posting a game here on Wednesday and against an opponent to be named and then if they get past that, it's likely, depending on what happens with the other seeds, that they're gonna have to go to the Berkshires for uh, the semifinal. And then of course the final uh, for Division Three is next Monday. But one of the rules of tournament play is you don't think about the next game. Um, so I think that right now, if Coach Williams just wants his guys to say, look, this is, we gotta get by this, this seven innings and once we do that, then we can think about the next round. Yeah, definitely. You wanna, you always wanna look. You gotta go from one game. You know, if if they do end up on top, that's great. And you gotta focus on the next one. But uh, this one's definitely gonna be a, a great game we're gonna have today. This is a relatively young South Hadley team. They've only got a couple of three seniors on this roster. A lot of the rest of them are juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. And uh, they got a big gun in the DH hole, Jacob Santiago, big number 44. He's batting third today. And one of the things that Frontier has been very good at in the last few times we've seen them is shutting down the what they call the meat part of the order. Two, three, four, five. They've done a good job containing those big power hitters. Most of the damage that's been done against Frontier that we've seen have been uh, from leadoff hitters and from lower in the order. So we'll see if Baranowski, being the 
the powerhouse pitcher that he is can, can keep Tyler Evans, Jacob Santiago, and Liam Quinn in check. That's the two, three, four hitters for the South Hadley Tigers. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I think the uh, are over there talking to the coaches and some of the assistant coaches are talking to their players. You know, I think one of the thing in those, uh, uh, when they're talking before games, you know, you just got to, you got to think, all right, what's going to win this game today? Right. Great defense and, you know, not a lot of throwing the ball around. You, you can't do that in the tournament ball. Defense is huge. <coughs> Let's give it the starting lineup for the uh, South Hadley Tigers. Aiden Sullivan leads off. He's a shortstop. Uh, batting second, the pitcher, Tyler Evans. Batting third, the aforementioned Jacob Santiago. He's the DH. Batting cleanup, the first baseman, Liam Quinn. Grady Provost, the catcher, bats fifth. Matt McDermott plays left field and bats sixth. John Sherwood is the third baseman. He bats seventh. Brady Mendoza is the right fielder, batting eighth. And Joe Meon, the second baseman, will bat ninth for the South Hadley Tigers. And uh, we'll give you the Red Hawk lineup as well. Leading off, as always, the shortstop Kyle Barnes. Batting second, Ben Martino at second base. Kevin Bauman, the right fielder, bats third. Jake Ryan, the first baseman, bats cleanup. Connor Hoffman is the DH today. He bats fifth. Jake Dodge in center field, bats sixth. Liam skrbisky Bannock, third base, bat seven. Tyler Baranowski, pitching, bats eighth. And Sam Schreiber, the left fielder, bats ninth. Dylan Martin <coughs> will do the catching for the Frontier Red Hawks as they have taken the field here in South Deerfield in this all-important opening round game of the D3 tournament. As we uh, know, the Frontier girls softball team, their season ended on Friday in East Hampton against the pretty good East Hampton team. And uh, that East Hampton team now uh, goes on to take on a team from the Berkshires, which is never an easy assignment. Yeah, any team from the Berkshires is, you know, it's gonna be tough. Aronofsky winding up and we'll get ready to play some playoff baseball here again. Winner goes on to the quarterfinal round Wednesday. And Have a good game. could be here if Frontier is able to pull this one out. So Baranowski is gonna have to deal with a left-handed bat to start off this game. Aiden Sullivan steps to the plate. As seven innings will decide this one, unless it gets out of hand. Baranowski winds and deals. Strike on the outside corner, O'Neill. Fly ball, short right field. And snagged by Bauman for the out. So one down, fly out to right, and the batter will be Tyler Evans, the pitcher. Another lefty. Back to back lefties. I'll try not to go, Greg. And he shows, shows bunt, tips it foul. Nothing in one. Base hit in the center field. And South Hadley has their first base runner courtesy of a stinging line drive single to left. The batter will be Jake Arroyo. Jacob Arroyo, the DH. One of the power guys in this lineup. Big dude. Evans leads off first. And the pitch. Nice stop by Martin. Keep that from getting behind him. 0-1 the count. 0-1 the count. Excuse me. So here's a 
threat of the possibility of some rain, but right now, bright sunshine in South Deerfield. Ranowski from the stretch, the pitch, the line drive, base hit. The left field, almost the same spot. So back-to-back -back singles as Evans goes up to second and Santiago is on. So two hits back-to-back -back with a lot of contact. Yeah, and if you're frontier here, you want to be careful. You know, one guy in uh, scoring position, one on first, right at the plate. The batter is Liam Quinn. <coughs> Fly ball, short left field. Schreiber has it and makes the catch. So two gone. That's a big out, and the batter will be the catcher, Brady Provost, for South Africa. Well, certainly not shy about swinging the bat, these guys. Yeah. Curve ball, strike. Started him off with a hook there, that's unusual. Yeah, and he's had that nasty uh, curve ball all season. Swing and a miss. So quickly 0-2 on Provost. I'll tell you, if Baranowski could pitch his way out of this, this would be a big save. Yeah. Baranowski from the stretch, the pitch. High. And then they throw down to third. And both runners advance. So two runners now in scoring position on the double steal. And one and two to count to Provost. Now two guys in scoring position. High for a ball. Leaving the count two and two. Three and two. So after what to get ahead on two, the count is now full. And if Provost gets on, Matt McDermott, the left fielder, will hit for South Carolina. Oh, he walked it. Wow. And the bases are loaded for Matt McDermott, the left fielder. Another lefty. McDermott is a junior. Popped up out of play. Cars. I think I parked right over there. Not good. Yeah, that's the that's 0 and 1. It's definitely the danger parking over there. Curve ball high and outside. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. So two strikes now on McDermott. Take the plate nicely on that one. Hey, seen it well, 12. Hey, seen it well, 12. Let's go. Hey, cool. Hey, we got to get a fight. Let's go. Baranowski lined up at the pitch. Pop up. Short left field. Schreiber on his horse. And it's foul ball. Yeah, the Frontier is very lucky. Just foul, I think. Yeah, he just barely missed the line. Schreiber was after it, but I think Sam might have gotten it if he hadn't pulled up. I think he knew it was going foul. Baranowski, 
in the windup. Ooh, ground ball to first. Jake Bryant fields it and wins the race to first. And that ends the inning. So Frontier escapes a bit of a jam there as South Hadley leaves them loaded. Go to the bottom of the first. And South Hadley nothing. Frontier coming up. The MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament on Frontier TV the Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. You go to the bottom of the first inning, Frontier. <clears throat> we'll bring up Kyle Barnes, Ben Martino, and Kevin Bauman to face the lefty fireballer for the South Alley Tigers, Tyler Evans. So it's gonna be lefty against lefty to start this uh, bottom of the first as Barnes, he steps in from the left side of the plate. See if Kyle can get it, Kyle can get it started for the Red Hawks. High for a ball, one and oh the count. Inside for a ball, so quickly to head two and zero oh is Barnes. And that was, I think that was a ball as well. 3-0 the count. Strike on the outside corner, so 3-1 now. Okay, you got to work all the way back. Yeah. Ground ball to second. Over to first, and Barnes is retired 4-3. One up, one down. The batter will be Ben Martino, the second baseman. Ben certainly has uh, had some clutch hits this year, we've seen. Yeah, he's definitely a great hitter for uh, Frontier. First pitch is high for a ball. Strike right at the knees. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. Good pitch. And right now, Evans is ahead one and two. Fouled off into the woods. Back to the ball eating woods and out there hell oh my gosh <laughs> and those are expensive <laughs> yes yes they are curveball ooh and Martina protected the plate well that was uh that was a bit of a sort of a change up almost change up curve but Ben was able to get a piece of it ooh. ground ball to third scooped up Throw to first, just in time. So Martino grounds out, five to three. Two gone, and the batter will be the right fielder, Kevin Bauman. And if he gets on, Jake Bryant will be the hitter. We know uh, from past games we've been to, Frontier likes uh, the two-out rallies. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We've had a number of two-out rallies this year when we've been on the air. See if Kevin Bauman can get something going. First pitch from Evans is outside for a ball. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, line drive, center field. And right at the center fielder who makes the catch to retire the side. One, two, three inning for Frontier. We go to the bottom, or the top of the second, rather. No score on the scoreboard. It's the MIAA Division Three Baseball Championships on Frontier Community Access Television. So it's going to be John Sherwood and Brady Mendoza and Joe Meon, the three scheduled hitters for the South Hadley Tigers. Sherwood is the third baseman. <coughs> no score. <coughs> Swing and a miss. High fastball by Baranowski, 0 and 1 the count. High for a ball, even the count, one ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two the count. Don't make sure would reach for that one a little bit. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Sherwood's down on strikes. This is the first K of the game for Baranowski. One down, and the batter will be Brady Mendoza, the right fielder. Mendoza is a junior. Swing and a miss. Has kind of a chopping swing. Low for a ball. One ball, one strike. Fouled off. One and two the count. High for a ball. Two and two. Curve ball fouled off of himself. As he had no choice but to swing at that. That was that was hooking right in there. Yeah, and once again, Tyler's he's had that nasty curve all season. Ground ball, Skrbisky back, scoops it up, over to Bryant, and Mendoza is retired. Two up, two down, and the batter will be the second baseman, Joe Meon. If he gets on, we'll go back to the top of the order, and Aiden Sullivan. Fouled off into the woods. Once again, expensive, expensive. <laughs> Curveball, nice pitch. Oh, and two the count. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but I don't think we can say that on TV. Curveball grounded to. Barnes, Barnes, the first, and he, nice stretch, and he got him. Good play on both ends. Barnes to get to it, and the stretch to retire the guy, and South Hadley goes one, two, three. We played one and a half from Deerfield at the end of one and a half. No score. The MIAA Division Three Baseball Championships on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the second. It's going to be the big boys, Jake Bryant, Connor Hoffman, and Jake Dodge. Three hitters for Frontier. Ox went a rare one, two, three in the first inning. Yeah, we'll see if Jacob Bryant, a huge hitter for Frontier, can get something going here in the uh, bottom of the sec second. So 
So Big Jake steps in. Curve ball. That fouled off his foot. That's got to hurt. Jake's going to have to walk that one off. <coughs> I used to have, have a nasty habit of doing it. I would always foul it off foul on the joint bone right here uh, inside my <laughs> I mean, and when you're trying to go into catch afterwards with that, that's not a lot of fun. Yeah. The most I've ever done is I swung hit me right in the kneecap. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. That's no fun. That is as painful as a guest. So 0-1 to Bryant. Evans is going to be deals. High for a ball. Curve ball, Oof. and back to the pitcher. And Bryant's down one to three. That'll bring up Connor Hoffman, who's listed as the DH in this game. I'm pretty sure Connor is a uh, sophomore. High for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Jake Dodge on deck. And if Dodge gets aboard, or one of them gets aboard, Liam skariski bannock will be the hitter. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Ooh. Line drive, base hit to right field. So Hoffman is aboard with a one-out single. First hit of the game for the Hawks. And the batter will be Jake Dodge, center fielder. Let's see if Connor decides to try and steal one here. I guess a lefty pitcher, though. <laughs> yeah. Stealing can be challenging. It, oh, it's really challenging. Popped up, out of play. Another one into those woods. Yeah. I'm gonna send Alec in there on a on a ball retrieval. Yeah, he's wonder how many he can find. A couple waterlogged ones too. Probably. And Evans plays it back. Yeah, the the nastiest move to first I ever saw was a left handed pitcher that I went to high school with and you couldn't tell if he was delivering to the plate or the or the, the the bag it was really amazing. There's another one fouled into Woods. Yeah, and that's yeah, it's it's a definitely a problem. Uh, I mean, but once you get to second, when you're at third, it's a lot a lot easier when you have a lefty hitter or pitcher. It's grounded over to third, and they're gonna go for two. They get the force at second, but they're not gonna get the runner at first. The Dodge is on board. Fielder's choice retires Hoffman. And the batter will be Skrbisky Bannock with two outs. Jake jumps back. Dodge is going to take second, and the throw is not going to happen as the catcher could not get the ball out of his mitt. So Dodge is in scoring position with a stolen base. So Skrbisky Bannock has a duck on the pond. Strike on the inside corner, good pitch. Ball in the dirt. Dodge thinks about there, but goes back to second. <laughs> Dodge is dirty. Yeah. It's really got to be a dry field. He went in there head first in the slide. Can't even see the Frontier logo. 
He's going to take third, but uh, throw, he's done. Yeah. And they got him at third. So Dodge is cut down stealing. And that will end the inning. So South Hadley is able to avoid a potential dangerous situation at the end of two. It is no score. It's the MIAA Division Three Baseball Championships on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips. 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. So we go to the top of the third, and it'll be the top of the order for the South Valley Tigers. Aiden Sullivan, Tyler Evans, and Jacob Santiago, the hitters. Sullivan flied out to right his first time up. Yeah, so they had that long first inning, and then last inning they went one, two, three. Yep. Score is still 0-0, zero, zero, though. Yep. Baranowski's pitch outside, ball one. South have the bench trying to get things fired up here. It's been a pretty quiet game so far in terms of, of boisterousness. Oh, he just missed. Sullivan was able to check the swing, but just barely. Line drive to short, Barnes over to first. And one up, one down. Barnes was playing that one closer to the bag and it paid that gamble paid off. Otherwise, he might not get to that ball. Yeah. Well, the batter will be Tyler Evans. He singled and reached third his first time up. Fly ball to right. Bauman under it. And he makes the catch. Quick two outs. Two up, two down. And the batter will be Jacob Santiago. He's got a big hit. Last time up, reached second. Baranowski now. The wind up. Ground ball. Too short to go to uh, third, rather. Skowiski Bannock over to Bryant. One, two, three. Again. So Frontier has sent down the last six in order. We've got seven in order. And we go to the bottom of the third. No score. This is the MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the bottom of the third, and the hitter will be Liam skrbisky bannock who was at the plate when Dodge was cut down stealing at third to end the last inning. So Liam gets a fresh uh, look at it. skrbisky bannock Baranowski, and Schreiber, the hitters for Frontier. As Evans has done a good job so far in containing Frontier. One hit and two relatively quick innings. Oof, swing and a miss. He's out in front of that one. Yeah, Frontier's got to lock in. Get something going. Outside for a ball. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. Two strikes on Liam. I think the curve's coming. Maybe not. Ooh. 
or whatever it was. It was nasty enough to put him down looking. So Skrbisky Bannock strikes out, and the batter will be the pitcher, Tyler Baranowski. The mono, the mono. Yes. And what I like about this is it's Tyler versus Tyler. That's it. It's even better. Yeah. Outside for a ball. Want to know the count. Off the end of the bat to second. Held up through the first just in time. Baranowski down four to three, and the batter will be the left fielder, Sam Schreiber. And if he gets on, Kyle Barnes will be the hitter. Let's see if Sam can get something going with two outs now. Low for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Ground ball to first, gobbled up, and stepped on the bag to retire the side. So three up, three down. We go to the top of the fourth, no score. This is the MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the top of the fourth, and we have a pitching change for Frontier. Sam Schreiber is the new pitcher, and that will move Tyler Baranowski to left field. So they're swapping positions. I'm not sure what's going on there, whether maybe there's something wrong with Tyler or what, but he seemed like he was pitching pretty well. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's the, the pitch count rule. It's, you know, you just have to wonder <coughs> because... I mean, if if you're the Frontiers coach and you're looking to save Tyler, you know, like we said yeah. pregame, you you got to take it this game first. And South Hadley's been looking pretty good at the plate. So Schreiber on the mound for Frontier. Ball inside. The hitter is Liam Quinn, the cleanup hitter. Flat out to left his first time up. Quinn, Provost, and McDermott, the hitters for South Hadley. Ground ball to third. Skrbisky Bannock up with it, and he's not going to get him. And the ball's going to hit Bryant. He's going to take off to second. And Quinn's going to take off, and we'll be at second. So just like that. We'll give him an infield single on that and advance the second of the bad throw. So just like that, South Hadley's got a runner in scoring position. Grady Provost walked his last time up. Infield looking like they're wondering about a bunt. Yep, and he squares, but he misses it. Caught by Martin. Yeah, so I think they're going to do on the pitch plays, they'll leave uh, Liam at third, and then Sam's got to get it. And I wonder if they'll go to first or over to third. Fakes the throw to second, nobody there. Schreiber from the stretch. On the pitch, low in the dirt. Martin, nice stop. That might have caught him in a place you'd rather not get hit. Whew. My sense. <laughs> They're going to give him a minute. Did a good job blocking it, but yeah. at what price? <laughs> Doesn't get much worse than <laughs> yeah, that's hitting getting hit right there. That is, uh, that's not a lot of fun. Ref for the umpires giving him a little more time to recuperate. Now Quinn goes back to second. Hey. 
Schreiber from the stretch. And the pitch. And they try to bunt it. It goes off the screen. So I'm guessing now two strikes, that'll do it for the bunting probably. Yeah. Fly ball, right center field, uh -oh. and that is going to be caught by Dodge. Quinn will tag and go to third. So Grady gets him over. And Quinn is now at third, one out, and Matt McDermott, who grounded out to first his first time up. Now Coach Williams wants to talk things over a little bit. Yeah, that was a great catch out there by Jake Dodge, and he had, to, he had to run far for that. Yeah, there was right the gap, and Dodge was able to get over there. It's a good thing he's got speed. So we got one gone, and Liam Quinn's over a third. So Conference is now over. And the batter will be the left fielder, McDermott. Schreiber. Strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one. <coughs> Line drive right at Bauman, and Quinn is going to stay at third. And that's a huge play there by Kevin Bauman to make that catch and get it in quickly. Well, it was not deep enough for Quinn to try and, uh, and tag. And John Sherwood is the batter. He's the third baseman. He struck out his first time up. So, again, Frontier with an opportunity here to get out of an inning unscathed. Good thing Kevin wasn't playing way too deep, you know. Otherwise, that could have dropped. Line drive, right center field, right at Bauman. Boom. And just like that, Frontier is able to get out of a jam again. Thanks to the outfielding skills of Kevin Bauman, and Jake Dodge will go to the bottom of the fourth. Still no score. This is the MIAA Division III Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. You go to the bottom of the fourth. It'll be the top of the order for Frontier. Kyle Barnes, Ben Martino, and Kevin Bauman. The hitters, as the Hawks have only mustered one hit in this game, they've only gotten a runner as far as second base. And... Oh, and Barnsey gets doinked. So Barnes hit by a pitcher and is at first. He ate that one like it was nothing. <laughs> so Martino now comes up. He grounded out to third his first time up. So Barnes at first for the Hawks. Barnsey gets back. Yeah, and he's definitely a threat to steal. As he's, he's got major speed. Especially now that he got plunked. Ah. Strike one to Martino. Now he's, now he's ready. Seen it. Barnes leads off first. Evans from the stretch. He steps off the rubber. Barnes, he hasn't been thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> We're having like a stare down over here. Throws it over. 
and the Dust Bowl begins. If you can see the field, you're better than I am. Barnes leads off first. Evans at the stretch, Martino at the plate. Pitch inside, just in, oh, they got the inside corner. I thought that was a little inside, but I'm thought otherwise, so it's two strikes on Ben. Kyle takes off. One's and in the dirt. he's gonna get second. Sweet. He'll make the turn. So Barnes is on second. He was going all the way. Ball got away from the catcher. And so Frontier has a runner in scoring position with nobody out. Now Martino's got someone in scoring position, so he's definitely a huge hitter. High for a ball. And uh, they want to talk about it a little bit. It looks like Evans is starting to have a little bit of a control issue. I'm just gonna go break this up a little bit. It is only like it's about 80 degrees out, you know, partly cloudy, and it's definitely windy and very dusty. Yeah, dusty and windy. So Barnes is at second, nobody out. Martino at the plate, and the on deck hitter is Kevin Bauman. So Frontier trying to get something going here in the fourth. <sighs> Swing and a miss. And Martino is down on strikes. One down. The batter will be Kevin Bauman, who flied out to center his first time up. And uh, Jake Bryant is on deck. Yeah, and like we were talking off there. Uh, Line drive. Ooh. Base it up the middle. Barnes rounds third. Here comes the throw. And it's not going to be in time. one nothing Frontier. An RBI single for Kevin Bauman. And the Hawks draw first blood. Yeah, and that, I, as we talked about off air, as I was about to mention, is, you know, all it takes, all it may take is one. And there we go. Just like that, Kevin Bauman with a huge timely hit for Frontier. And the batter will be Jake Bryant. Grounded out weekly to the pitcher his first time up after getting thrown a nasty hook. He'd love to poke one here. Ground ball to short. Double play ball over to first. And they got them both. Six, four, three. Ends the inning. But Frontier gets on the board. At the end of four, it's Frontier one. South Alley nothing. It's the MIAA Division III Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Go to the top of the fifth, Frontier on the board first, courtesy of the Bauman RBI single, scoring Barnes to make it one nothing Hawks. And as uh, you said, Tom, that, that could be huge. This, this could end up as a one-run game. Yeah. The way this game's been going so far, you know, Defensively, both both teams, they've been playing great. You know, that one run could do it. Brady Mendoza steps in. He grounded out to third his first time up. Sam Schreiber on the mound for Frontier in relief of Baranowski. First pitch is a strike on the inside corner. Nothing in one. Mendoza, Mion, and the top of the order, Aiden Sullivan, the hitters for the Tigers here in the fifth. Ground ball. To Barnes at short. Barnes over to first, Ooh. and he beat the throw. Good stretch by Jake Bryant, but Mendoza showing some wheels, and he gets an RBA, a, uh, an infield single. That'll bring up Mion. 
He grounded out to short his first time up. Yeah, and Brady Mendoza clearly has the wheels, so you have to think he may be a threat to steal. Mendoza leads off first. Triver, the pitch. It shows bunt, strike. Curveball, bunted. Martin goes to first for the sure out. And Mendoza gets over to second. So the sacrifice works. They get Mendoza in the scoring position. And the batter will be Aiden Sullivan, who has uh, flied out to right and grounded out to short. He's 0 for 2. Ah, so top of the order. Mendoza leading off second. Fouled off. I don't think that one. I got someone's car. Yeah. 0 oh 1 the count, Aiden Sullivan. Schreiber now from the stretch. And the pitch. Curve ball high for a ball. One and one. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, so good pitcher's count here. He's up. Driver looks the runner back. And the pitch. Curve ball. Strike three. As he caught the corner and caught Sullivan looking. That's a big strikeout. Two gone. And the batter will be Tyler Evans. The pitcher. Evans with a chance here to help his own cause if he can get a hold of one. Yes, he's... Uh Tyler Evans is singled to left field and flew out to right. And it's that uh, mano y mano. Curve ball high for a ball. Ground ball to first. Nice play by Jake Bryant. And he will win the race wow. to the bag. Big out. Big play by Jake Bryant. And once again, the South Holly Tigers strand a runner. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Great Frontier 1, South Holly nothing. This is the MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's going to be... Connor Hoffman, Jake Dodge, and Liam skrabisky bannock the hitters for the Frontier Red Hawks as they look to extend this 1-0 lead over the South Hadley Tigers. Chris Collins along with Tom Albert, and Tom will be taking us through the rest of these next two innings. And Frontier, I think, needs a couple of insurance runs here. Yeah, Frontier needs to get something going. And... Uh Looks like Connor Hoffman will lead off the inning as he is uh, one of Frontier's hits. Grounder. And the, and uh, oh, ooh. nice play by Meon at second. Over to first. Good play. Four to three. The batter will be Jake Dodge. Yeah, that was a. That one almost got through. <laughs> but definitely a great play there. Um, by uh, South Hadley's second baseman. See if uh, Jake Dodge can get something going. That one's outside. This counts one and out. Ooh. Oof. That one's called in the inside corner. 
Dodge reached on the fielder's choice his first time up. Made it to second and got caught stealing a third down that inning. Oof. Nice cut there. So the count is one and two. Good pitcher's count. Looked like a curveball. Chopper over to the third. Bobbles it. And Jake will get who it will be safe at first. I'm going to call that an error on the third baseman. And so the Hawks have a runner on the, the, the pond, and it'll be Liam Skrbisky Bannock. Dodge is definitely a threat to steal. Go, he'll throw over. Ooh. Almost throw it away there. It's definitely tougher to be a lefty uh, pitcher. Dodge takes off the second to throw down. He will be get in there and be safe. And he once again <laughs> is in a cloud of dust. That sh that uniform is going to be unwashable. Yeah, pretty soon. I was going to say I don't think <laughs> I don't think he could get much dirty over there. I mean, you love a dirty uniform in Frontier, but geez, that that's that's a little bit of overkill. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if Liam. Now with the guy in scoring position can get something going here. It's only one down. Grounder over to first. So Dodge will he'll move over to third. And now that will be uh, two outs, and the batter is Tyler Bernowski. He's now the left fielder. Grounded out to second his first time up. Could be a huge hit right here if he gets a hold of it. That one's going to be blown away. The count is 1 0. Now Just one's inside. Yeah. I'll tell you, he, that, that, <laughs> there's a couple of times you've seen players jump back from that inside pitch and he's calling strikes. Yeah. Ooh. And that one's in there for a strike. Yeah, that was right at the D's. So now the count is one and two. A good pitcher's count. You have to think something's coming. Hi. Hi, uh, in a way. Try to get in the fish on that one. Yeah. Got to leave that one for the birds. So now that Eden's count, two and two. Evans. That's a high fly ball to left field, and he brings it in. So that ends the threat. Frontier Strands won. Go to the top of the sixth. Frontier won. South have a nothing. This is the MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Go to the top of the sixth inning, and the batter will be Jacob Santiago, who singled his first time up, grounded out to third. He's one for two. Santiago Quinn and Provost, the hitters, for South Hadley. Shriver. Oof. <laughs> that one is really in the dirt. All right. Poor kid's going to have bruises all over. I think he's used to it, though. <laughs> Oof. Strike. Nice pitch. That evens the count. One and one. That one's also in the dirt. Good hold there by uh, Santiago. So good hitters count here. Counts two and one. High fly ball, right field. 
That one's going to be foul. That's Kevin couldn't quite get to it, though. Well, he's been busy out there in right today. Yeah. It's been a lot of... He's had four putouts. Whew. Very nearly a fifth there. So that evens the count, two and two. Good That's curve. Strike three. Oh, that was just nasty. Ah, doesn't get much better than that. So Santiago goes down swinging, and the batter's going to be Liam Quinn. <laughs> he went down looking, actually. Looking. <laughs> Liam Quinn has a single and a flyout on his record today. One for two. And South Hadley needs to get something going here. Grounder over to third. And a great play there and good stretch by Jake Bryant. So that is uh, two outs. <coughs> yeah, I'll tell you, Jake Bryant, he, he's a big dude, but he's very athletic. And he's shown it today with a couple of wicked stretches. Yeah. And that's what you want as a first baseman. So now the batter is... Uh, Brady Provost, who's walked and plied to center field. Good curve. That one's good strike there. The count's 0-1. So now Provost is ready. That one will be in the dirt. That evens the count, 1-1. One and one. I'll be inside for a ball. That time he didn't call it a strike. Yeah. <laughs> so now the, now the count's two and one, and a good hitter's count here. Schreiber deals. Fly ball. Looks like it will just leave the infield. Martino will take it, and that will end the inning. So great catch there by uh, Ben Martino. So Frontier comes up, <coughs> still leading one nothing. Go to the bottom of the sixth here in the Division Three Western Mass Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's going to be Schreiber, Barnes, and Martino, the hitters for Frontier. So 9 1 2. As again, the Hawks cling to a 1 0 lead. And as we keep saying, that one run. Driven in by Kevin Bauman is huge at this point. Yeah. Yeah, and you definitely got to look back at this uh, this game, and you're going to look back at, you know, that fourth inning. Because all, all it'll take is one, one run sometimes. Schreiber grounded out to the first baseman, his only other time up today. High for a ball. Counts 1-0. We'll see if uh, Schreiber can get something going here for Frontier. No one will be outside. So two straight balls. Schreiber's going to wait for his pitch. And now uh, South Hadley's coach is going to visit the mound. Well, you got to wonder if, I don't know what the pitch count is right now for the South Alley pitcher, but uh, he's had some issues with the control the last couple innings, Tyler Evans. He's pitched a good game, but he's been throwing the ball pretty high. Yeah, he said, uh, well, the way he looks at the book, we got three, one, two, three innings. Yeah, he has. he's played well, but. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to leave your pitcher out there for too long, especially with this mean frontier uh, bench. It does look like uh, Jake Dodge and Liam over there forming the bullpen for uh, Frontier. So it counts three and zero. Oh. And they'll 
take ball four. So same driver walks. Start off the sixth, bottom of the sixth inning. And the batter is uh, Kyle Barnes. Hit by a pitch his last time up, which led to the only run in this game when he was singled home by Bauman. <laughs> Throws it over to first, rather than says. Schreiber takes off the second. Good throw. And he's got him. So Schreiber's gunned down, stealing. Now there's a one one gun. Wow, that was a great, a great throw by the catcher. Yeah. To get him. He had, it had to be a perfect throw, and it was. It's right on the money. That one's inside for a ball. Again, I'm not sure they I'm not sure you send him in that situation, but yeah. with that kind of speed, it's a gamble worth taking, I suppose. But in a one run game. That one's fouled off. Out of play. Not into the woods and doesn't hit the cars. So the count is one and two. Ooh. <laughs> Kyle goes down swinging. That was a mean curveball. So it's up to Ben. Struck out his last time up and grounded out to third. <coughs> that one's high for a fall. See if Martino can get something going with two outs. Swings. Ground over to third. It'll be foul. Did they call it foul? Yep. He would have been out if it wasn't foul. Yeah. So the count is even, one and one. Be a ball way. So good hitters count here. Two and one. Evans deals. Strike on the inside corner. Oof. It's been calling that inside one all day. So two and two. Ben gets a piece of it. Good job by Ben to defend the play a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he was too happy with that inside strike that was called on him. But what can you do? This count's still even, two and two. Good hit, and it gets through. So uh, Martino gets on with two outs. Yep, Mian did his best to try and snag that one, but just out of his reach. So Kevin Bauman, who has the only RBI in the game, Singled it in his last time up with a chance to do some more damage. Yeah, and Frontier loves having those two out rallies. Bauman gets on, Jake Bryant will be the hitter. Grounder, back to the pitcher, tips it. And it looks like everyone will be safe. So, <laughs> Kevin gets on. I don't know if you'd call that an error. I, I'm i not sure you can call it an error. Yeah. It was just, I think we got an infield hit, but this is an opportunity for Jake Bryant to do some real damage and put this out of reach potentially if he can get a hold of one here. 
Woo! Very nearly hit him. You don't want that guy turned to the mound. Yeah. Whew. Not that he would have, but. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't want to hit that guy. 2 0. Oh. ball just out of the reach of the first baseman and almost caught it on the line. There was definitely some uh, spin on that. So the count's now two and one. Great hitters count. We know uh, Ryan can hit the ball far. <laughs> there it goes. Wow. And But right into the center fielder's glove. You got a hold of it, but it went nowhere in Frontier Strands 2. We go to the top of the seventh, three outs away from advancing are the Frontier Redhawks as they lead South Hadley one to nothing. This is the MIAA Division Three Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. So we go to the top of the seventh inning. It's gonna be Matt McDermott, John Sherwood, and Brady Mendoza, the hitters for South Hadley as they are three outs away from their season ending and Frontier three outs away from advancing to the next round, which we are told will happen here on Wednesday. Well, we have not confirmed an opponent yet. We will let you know about that. Yeah, so South Hadley really, you know, they got it. It's either get the bats going or they're going home. McDermott has grounded out to first and is flat out to right in this game. Let's see if Mac can do something here. That one's going to be low. And the gusts have begun. The count is one and out. Foul ball. Foul ball. Oof. Blocked by the trees. Oh. <laughs> it looked like it was heading right to, towards some fans or going to hit one of those cars over there. So that evens the count one and one. Driver. Oof. That one will be outside. Now that one he didn't call, but he's called it every other time when the batters are in the right-hand side. Yeah. So the count's two and one. Good hitters count here. Same pot, almost oh. the same spot. Three and one. <coughs> and there we go. That was the same spot, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So now the count is full, three and two. Swinging at anything close. Chops it over to shortstop, and a great catch by Kyle Barnes. Almost a check swing liner, and Barnes, he was right there to snag it. One gone. So now South Adley's down to their last two outs. It'll be Sherwood, the batter. Flat out to Bauman and struck out his first two times up. A great strike there. Schreiber takes the lead in the count. Oh, and one. That one's gonna be high. Evens the count. One and one. Good swing, and it fouls off. So now the count is one and two. We'll see if we see uh, 
Sam's curve. Good swing. And no one that's gonna drop. So a great hit. It was a blooper to left field. And John Sherwood gets on. So now the batter's Brady Mendoza. A tying run is on first base. They call that a gork. That one just sort of dropped in behind the barns and ahead of of Baranowski was was advancing on it. Just couldn't couldn't pull it in. You're gonna get a courtesy runner in for South Hadley. Number nine. That would be Nathan Carillion. He's a sophomore. My guess is he's probably got some speed. Yeah. So this is very interesting here. Will Schreiber finish this one out? Will they go to the bullpen? Right now they're sticking with him. And the battery's Brady Mendoza, who's grounded out to third and had a nice hit to shortstop. Must have gone through. Oof. Good swing there. It's going to miss. That was a, a nice little change up there that totally fooled him. Yeah. Count his own one. Nathan, not going to take off. Fooled me. <laughs> so two strikes now. Yeah. Wonder if we'll see Shriver's curve. Oof. That's gonna be that a little pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little outside, who knows? <coughs> so the count is one and two. Good swing. Oh, also catch there by Kyle Barnes. So now the runner gets on it's, as it was a hit to shortstop. And now the batter is Joe. Me? That might be it for Sam. Yeah. Wonder if they're going to roll with. Liam. We're certainly talking about it. I, uh, maybe they're going to stick with him. Yeah. But you got the lead run on first, tying run at second, the two consecutive hits up the middle. Yeah, and South Albany's really not going down without a fight. The batter is going to be Joe Meon, and after that, it's the top of the order. As there's only only one out. The good news is you got forces at every base except home, so you could you could easily turn a double play here. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Key is to keep the ball on the ground, though. Yeah. Oof. That one's right in there for a strike. You could even sacrifice here and move the runners over. Yeah. The count is 0-1. Try a pick Ooh. off play. There's strike two. Good pitch. It's that mound visit. Like made Sam lock in. Almost. Counts on two. Schreiber deals. Strike three. Swinging. That's a big strikeout. 
Whew. And Aiden Sullivan, who struck out looking the last time up, is the hitter now to their final out with two runners on. And Sullivan's fly to right, grounded short, and struck out last at bat. He's definitely due for a hit here. It's do or die. Oh, good pitch. Yeah. So the count is 2 0. Sharper. And that's going to be a strike inside. So the count is 2 and 1. Good hitters count here. Side. So now the count's three and one. You do not want to walk him here. And that's a huge strike there. Full count. So the count's three and two. As Runners should be off. Yeah. And this is a huge pitch here by Sham, Sam Schreiber. Nope. Oh. And he walks him. So now the bases are loaded and the hitter is Tyler Evans. Is he uh, singled to left, flown out to right, and grounded out to first. So it's good at any base. This is a huge, huge at bat. Oh, that's a good pitch. Great pitch by uh, Sam Schreiber. Count is own one. Grounder, it gets through. So one run will score. They'll wave another person around. Throw to the plates away. As and they're gonna get the out there. So. But two runs score. Yeah. And just like that, we go to the bottom of the seventh and South Hadley has scored two to take a 2-1 lead. Don't go anywhere. This is the Division Three Western Mass Baseball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. So we go to the bottom of the seventh, and Tyler Evans on the mound to try and finish it off, which he literally just started with a RBI two-run single. They caught the third guy coming around at the plate on the throw, but it's going to be Connor Hoffman, Jake Dodge, and Liam skrabisky Bannock, the hitters, as Frontier's got to get at least one to stay alive. Two runs wins it. This is uh, this is huge. 
And that two RBI single by Tyler Evans was doesn't get more clutch than that. Yeah, that was pretty clutch. And it was the Frontier was good to be able to get the, the last out, but they're now down two to one. And Connor Hoffman, the DH, steps in. It's one for two. That will be high. So it counts one to no. Oof. Swing and a miss. Or no, whoops. Swing and fouled off. Excuse me. Can Frontier walk it off here on their own field? Ooh. Oh, that one was inside. And it's been you can call that all day. Yeah. I mean, you, you almost have to swing at it at this point. Yeah. Stays Fouled off into the woods. Yeah. Alec, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> the gate's open. <laughs> the gate is open. <laughs> so the count is one and two. We'll see if Connor can get something going here. Pop up. Fouled into the into the woods. Wood. The ball eating woods. Yeah. It's probably ten or so in there. Just this game. <laughs> so Connor doing a good job staying alive. See if he can protect here. Change up. Good curve. Whoa. Wow. Curve. So that evens the count two and two. Foul or fly ball, left field definitely foul. This is a huge at bat by the uh, sophomore. Often. Swings, it's fouled up. Looks like it may stay in play. And that one will be, wow. One gone as he uh, he ran into the fence there. So Dodge is the hitter. He reached on an error, got as far as third his last time up. So Frontier down to their last two outs. Jake Dodge has got to get something going here. He doesn't. Could be, uh, it's going to be up to Liam. Owens high for a ball. High five ball to the pitcher, and that's two gone. Oh, boy. Down to their final out. The guy with some power, though, Skrbisky Bannock. And if he gets on, but it will be Tyler Bernowski. This will be a huge upset. Oh, good changeup. Well, it bears repeating what we, what we said earlier. It's very difficult to beat a team three times in one season. Yeah. Swing, it's grounded over to short. And that will be the game as South Hadley upsets the three seed Frontier at home. And they are celebrating like mad on the field, and they should. That, that was a well, well fought an earned game. And the big hero of the day is their pitcher, Tyler Evans, went the distance for the win and also had the winning RBI single, two RBI single. And the South Valley Tigers will advance to the next round, which is Wednesday and Frontier season comes to an abrupt and surprising end, Tom. Yeah, I mean, Frontier, they had, they had chances in this game. I mean... That one run was huge by Kevin Bauman, but some of the uh, the base running was 
which is not it today. And it's sad to see Frontier go, but South Hadley <laughs> played a phenomenal game, and it came down to their, their pitcher, Tyler, Bre Tyler Evans, with that two RBI single late in that seventh inning. And the Frontier Red Hawks look a little bit shocked right now. As I'm, a, I'm I'm would not be surprised if they are. Yeah. As this one looked like they had it, one and uh, you know all it takes is one timely hit, and a couple of runners in scoring position, and it ends up being an L instead of a W. And Frontier season comes to an end, and that will end our spring sports season here. At Frontier Community Access Television. It's been a lot of fun working with you, Tom, and doing some of these games. And want to thank Josh and Megan and Alec, and of course the executive producer of uh, Frontier Sports is Kevin Murphy. We'll see you in the fall with football and soccer and all the other great fall sports, which actually are going to happen as regularly <laughs> scheduled this fall, which will be a nice change for all of us here. But uh, we've enjoyed being able to bring you some of these broadcasts and uh, and create uh, and uh, document some history of uh, a great program here at Frontier. Softball, track, uh, baseball, and a bunch of other sports that we're able to do this year. It was a year like no other. Certainly we uh, were able to stream some of these things, and that was something we weren't able to do before, and now we will uh, take the summer off, and there'll be plenty of stuff to watch on TV. We'll have <laughs> all kinds of concerts and government meetings starting up again, and then in the fall, of course, we'll come back with another round of fall sports here at Frontier Regional School. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Collins. Final score for the final time, South Hadley defeats Frontier 2-1. to one in the quarterfinal round, or opening round rather, of the Western Mass Division III Baseball Tournament. So long from South Deerfield.